this is the highest package 1.2 crores 2 crores 3 crores all of this is bullshit our iits are no longer offering high paying jobs as which the media does not flash it only gives you very hooky titles which will make you read it and be like oh my god being into it your life is set no neka placement laga why are you just earning 4 lp that is not who we are we are much more than that we are individuals who have our own talents who have our own personalities it's about you know once you enter into a relationship let's say it's it's a compatibility match hi everyone this is prakriti for those who don't know me yet i'm a final year student at iit bombay and i know you guys have been waiting for a lot of videos and this is one of them i got busy with my placements and after that i had to sort a lot of other things and there were a lot of other events which i needed to attend but yes we are finally back talking about placements yes i'm placed that reminds me about one other important thing i have been seeing a lot of comments here and there are a lot of news articles that you know the placement season this year was not so good and a lot of other people worrying whether should be you know what's the point of giving jay if the placements are going this bad or xyz things so let me break this down to you first of all how the placement process is okay when placements happen there is a certain deadline people try to build up their resume now resume is something where you you know mention all your professional experiences the pors you have been basically it's a pitch deck it's like a one page pitch deck to the company that this is you and you're selling yourself over there not selling yourself but like you're marketing yourself over there so that happens and after that you sign up your resume you submit it to the placement cell and that's finalized after that a lot of companies will come they will pitch their work to you their you know working culture to you and what they are offering what they want from you there will be a lot of placement talks then there will be a lot of placement tests which happen simultaneously and this goes on the entire semester towards the end of the semester on the basis of the tests you have given on the basis of maybe a couple of assignments and a lot of other criteria your resume shortlisting etc companies will shortlist specific candidates for interviews and the lists will be released and all of these lists will start getting interviewed from december 1 when placements start happening in iit bombay that is how it goes isliye when some when someone is getting shortlisted in a company that does not mean that the person will definitely get into that company okay once this is cleared now let me tell you if you are thinking when you are giving j you are getting into iit bombay your life is sorted that is a lie you need to find out that person who's telling you this and stop them right there this is not the truth you need to understand that yes coming into iit bombay is still a privilege why is that i'll explain you towards the end of the video but before that when you come here you still need to work you still need to study you still need to maintain certain cpi depending on what profile you are targeting there are certain companies which prefer you know very high cpis there are certain companies which will be which will not focus on cpi but will look at your overall profile and will not judge you on the basis of just one number so depending on what you are targeting a lot of things can be managed and you know need to be focused on once this is done now a lot of people think ki even the media keeps highlighting that iit bombay ka hissa itna package gaya this is the highest package 1.2 crores 2 crores 3 crores all of this is bullshit you know okay people are genuinely getting placed but how many that's just you know very few you can count them on like hands i can count them on my fingers right now and imagine that's in the entire country so now the question is upon you what do you think you are are you very smart that you are keeping that some countable people in the entire country as your standard that once you clear this exam life is sorted and this will automatically happen to you or are you being dumb here and you know following a herd mentality and just blocking your view and not accepting the reality no iit will not guarantee you that and you know sometimes it's not even in your control placements is a very random process i have seen people who have exceptional profiles not getting placed i have seen people whom you will call average profiles getting very good placements so it's about you know once you enter into a relationship let's say it's it's a compatibility match for example i'll give you an instance from these uh, from this year's placements only there was a company i'll not name it but it had come it had shortlisted some x number of students and on the day of placements uh, when it was interviewing us i realized that if candidate a candidate b are on the same level in each metric the company will prefer a student 
who's from metallurgy and the company is not even a core metallurgy company by the way now no one would imagine that this would happen right while giving their jo or while sitting for placements this only happened because this company wanted to venture into a project which is in some metallurgy field and would have just preferred a candidate who's from that background so that they could understand the context better now this is nothing to do with your capability or how much hard work you have put in so when you go to youtubers people or ask your seniors or anyone in this world that tum to it se ho tumhara kitne ka placement laga why are you just earning 4 lpa why are just 4 lpa companies coming into iit bombay there's a lot which goes behind it and iit tag will not suffice everything you need to understand that and stop judging people from what x amount of money they are earning if i talk about myself personally there's another thing which you need to understand let's say company is giving 30 lpa and another company is giving 15 lpa i know people who have ditched the company offers which were offering them higher money like 30 lakhs and went on for 15 lakhs instead because they understood that this is the kind of work they want to do and you know will help them grow and probably get better in career in future which is a wiser option you know there is no point just thinking about money and blindly going to that company just because it's offering a higher pay because you know this is the first job you are going to do this is the foundation of what you will be doing in the next few years and if you chose that to be something which you do not like you know you're going to progress in something which you don't even like so you restricted yourself in the first place whereas maybe it's a wiser choice to accept a little less money go to a place where you want to work and you'll get excited to work there and probably you'll get better and that will eventually lead you to a much better position than you would have done here i know so many people who have done this and that's probably the wisest decision in my respect now i get there will be people who care about money who have financial distress going on in the family if i say that i would have preferred a lesser paying company if it was offering me better work i will obviously take into account that my basic needs are met like let's say which city i want to work in am i comfortable being in that city is the city safe for me do i have people who will be around with me a lot of different factors once that's done what's the cost of living in that city how much do i need to spend how much do i want to spend what are my desires what are my likings what kind of living you know lifestyle do i have according to that if that is met and my bare minimum lifestyle cost is met beyond that i will stop looking at money as the primary thing and we'll look which company do i really want to work and what interests me more so i have also made sure that i'm financially independent and secure and i'm working in what i want to and not being greedy that is se bhi upar chahiye aur jitna doge utna chahiye that is something you need to understand now the third thing which is important i have seen a lot of juniors freshers saying that aap logo ka placement itna kharab hua hai hamara to kya hoga and they've already gone into stress Leave aside freshers, even people who are giving jai. I am seeing comments that Didi, ab log ka placement aisa hua. IITs are no longer offering high paying jobs. First of all, IIT ni kariye tumko offer. Companies will come here, so the market situation defines how your placements are gonna be. Okay. Even jai students are saying that jai karke kya karenge jab aisa hi placement ho na. So again, coming to IIT is not guaranteeing you everything. You will need to work hard for everything. You will need to build your profile. You will need to find your interests. what i now you will ask me that why to go to iit is if it is not you know guaranteeing you all of this if you need to work then work in any college that is because iit has such a talented pool of people you will find people who are good and doing everything all almost everything here you talk about musicians you talk about people who sing who are in culture who are in drama dance even tech things even entrepreneurship a lot of things non core things growth strategy ml coding pure engineering research everything so whatever you want to do you will find people you will have a strong network of distinguished alumni who will be in touch with you provided you are active enough to network with them who will help you out genuinely help you out without any materialistic selfish interests they will be willing to help you so that is something iit will provide you it will provide you an infrastructure and a mechanism where you can learn and grow and be better prepared to face life and campus placements is a very random process anyone can get placed anyone cannot get placed 
it totally depends on that year the market situation the luck what's company preferring what's your profile are they matching are they compatible or not it does not define how capable or how well built a person is does not so you need to first of all figure all of this out okay after that if you are preparing for jee right now you still would prepare for jee and come to iit you know, iit bombay for all of these benefits and even if you don't get placed through campus placements you will be confident enough that you have done certain things this is your profile and you know you are better than other people in the world over there or in india right now and when you go outside you can look for what you really want to and try to apply to those companies talk to people who are offering work which you want and figure things out because you have developed confidence you know how to build things from scratch you know how to deal with things you know how to deal with life that is what college is meant for and that is what college teaches you not spoon feeding a placement into your mouth sorry no you go to any stage of life your life will never be sorted you will still have things to worry about and those will keep changing when you are in school it's your exams when you are in 11 12 it's probably your entrance exams when you are college it's probably building and finding who you really are what things do you like what do you want to do with life it's exploring your inner self what you really want to do because till school you have been in so much pressure of society your parents that you should do this you should do that college is when you give yourself time and explore things that who you really are and what do you really like all right so i hope all of this gave you some perspective and you look up to people who are in iits or in any college with some respect and do not judge them with a random i you know random tag of how much do they earn or how much package do they get please stop doing that it literally breaks my heart when people judge us just on the basis of one statistics or one metric that is not who we are we are much more than that we are individuals who have our own talents who have our own personalities and who can walk through the world and can face reality and can work things out for us because we know we have worked hard and this is what we have built for ourselves and we can face life so yeah and yeah those who are giving jay all the best for any interest exams all the best for that and i will see you in the next video till then bye